Hello, dear friends, students, and learners. Will the future vision of a utopia populated by humans and humanoid robots really come true? Will every human being in the future have two or three humanoid robots by their side to take care of all the routine chores and the mundane tasks? Well, at least that is the techno utopian future that is being sold to us. But some serious questions have now been raised on whether such humanoid robots, which are generally capable to do things, are even possible. Today, we explore whether this talk of humanoid general robots for every human being is just fluff and nothing like that is happening. Or will it happen? Let's investigate. No humanoid robots arriving. So that's a warning by none other than the godfather of, the modern founder of, and the biggest name in the field of robotics, Rodney Brooks himself. He actually wrote a very influential essay in September 2025, where he speculated on the limitations of robotics as it exists today. And that really made many people sit up and take a look at what he had to say. And that's exactly what we are going to do today. So his contention is that humanoid robots, robots which basically look like human beings, which live amongst human beings in the human society, and which are at the beck and call of human beings to do anything like any human assistant or any human being himself or herself would do for them. Rodney says this is not going to happen, not even in the next 300 years. So that is a big deal. So where exactly are we going wrong? Welcome to the AI and Future of Humanity playlist. If you haven't yet subscribed to my free AI newsletter, do that right now. Every Tuesday and Friday, wonderful AI news and wisdom reaches your inbox. You should not be missing this. Link for subscription is in the comments. Thank you and welcome. This techno-utopian future is being sold to us by almost every big tech company. Elon Musk sells this to us. Even Google directly or indirectly talks about it. Anyone, any big tech leader who wants to be taken seriously keeps talking about humanoid robots. Now, we do agree and we understand that robots have been in popular use for the past 40 years in many countries, but in industrial applications. So those are not humanoid, human-like. Those are robotic arms. So we have entire automation. We have entire automobile factories using automation via robotic arms. And you don't even have more than a couple of humans supervising them. But those are not humanoid robots. Those are robotic arms assembling the cars or other automobiles. Similarly, in giant warehouses of multiple companies, especially like that of Amazon, you have various kinds of robots, but those are robots on wheels and those others that move around all the objects, the packages basically. The issue today is that of the very glamorous topic of humanoid robots. So, will this techno-utopian future ever come true? Rodney Brooks says, no, this is not going to happen. Why would he downplay the very field he actually birthed? We'll see that. But first, let's take a look at what fundamentally constitutes a humanoid robot. A humanoid robot is the stuff of science fiction. Anybody fond of watching science fiction movies or science movies knows this. So it would be good to have some suggestions from you in the comments on one or two good science fiction movies based on robots that you have watched and that you recommend or some warning that you would want to sound. It would be lovely hearing from you in the comments. Humanoid robots, they resemble human beings, so we expect them to have bipedal locomotion, manipulation abilities just like human arms, articulated limbs, human compatible size, because anything which is very small doesn't look like human, anything which is huge would scare us, so we would want them in the same five, five and a half, six feet level. Human-like aesthetics, balance and mobility, interactive communication and learning capabilities. Wow, that's quite a handful. We humans are really so good. Natural evolution has created a machine, which is absolutely wonderful. We are awesome machines created by natural evolution, natural selection. 
over hundreds of millions of years, actually organic machines, so to say. So if we can create humanoids like this, that is the techno-utopian future being sold. Rodney says this is not going to happen. So the problem with humanoid robots will be taken up in just a moment. What we learned so far is human-like form and appearance. I'm just summarizing what would constitute a humanoid robot. And even before progressing any further, robots have arrived and robots will be around. For example, Roomba, the room cleaner, was created by Rodney Brooks' own company. So we have to take the guy seriously. He is the creator of Roomba. We are looking at purely humanoids, comprehensive capability, general purpose functionality, human robot collaboration and global ubiquity. We are expecting this. This is the future vision being sold to us and which does not seem to be actually happening. And why not? We'll come to that. So this is the promise. One of the key aspects of actually selling this dream of humanoid robot, becoming a part, integral part of human society, is the manipulation ability of the arms, the limbs, the hands. The amazing body organs that we humans have been endowed with, the way we can manipulate objects in 3D is a feat absolutely not achieved by any machine till date. Right from the joint here, to the joint here, to the joint here, and these. Together, we have used it to the fullest scope and human civilization has prospered to this partly because of a huge contribution of these tool making actually opposable thumbs and so on. Robots can't do that. And worse than that, you may make any kind of a robotic arm, individual robotic arm, but it is never as dexterous, capable, skilled, or amazingly multidimensional like a human arm is, despite all the attempts that have been made. One of the biggest drawbacks in this journey towards, suppose journey towards humanoid robots is the complete lack of the human ability to translate touch into a scientific paradigm. There is no science which can actually convert the sensation of touch into a science and transfer that science to a robot so that robots can actually understand what human touch is. Our ability to touch and feel objects has played a huge role in our entire story, the human story, the sapient story. And if the robots cannot be transferred this science, this skill, this understanding, this stimulus behavior, well, then that's a very fundamental limitation. We'll come to that in a moment. That's exactly what Rodney says. If you look at the illustrious career of this robotics pioneer, you will understand why the world takes him very seriously. The guy actually built Roomba and his present company is doing intensive research on this. So what prompted him to suddenly write such an essay in September 2025? What prompted him is exactly the same motivation that has prompted many AI and machine learning pioneers in the past one year to call out the absolute hype being created about AI and machine learning being superhuman. If you recall over the past 12 months, many AI pioneers have repeatedly warned that what is being promised to us in the name of AI will never materialize. You are expecting AI to become generally intelligent. Sam Altman has been repeatedly hyping, AGI is around the corner, AGI is around the corner. As the old joke in the AI industry goes, every month AGI is just one year away. And for decades, AGI has been only one year away, every month. Why does that happen? Because these companies need to pump up their valuations. And to do that, they have to show big dreams. There is no harm in seeing big dreams. There is no harm in showing big dreams. They have to be rooted in science. They have to be rooted in fact. They have to be rooted in reality. While till about 2023 and 24, scaling is all you need was the going dictum. At the LLMs, you just make them bigger and bigger and bigger and pop will come out consciousness and intelligence. In 2026, now scaling is all you need is the dead paradigm. Nobody is talking about it. Yes, you can scale and you can get better, but it doesn't mean consciousness will pop out of it. In fact, it may never. 
The same thing applies to robotics. That's where I was coming from. Rodney Brooks says that the kind of money now being invested into chasing these dreams is an absolute blind alley and it should not be done. And he is very, very blunt in the September 25 essay in saying that over the next few months, next few years, it will become apparent that this chasing of the dream called humanoid robots will consume tens of billions of dollars at the cost of alternative paradigms and approaches which if invested in could have yielded better results for humanity and this is exactly what has happened with LLMs. The kind of monies that have flown into LLMs, if a part of that would have gone into hybrid approaches, symbolic AI and LLM and a marriage of the two, which is hybrid, which is what many AI pioneers had been warning about, that has not happened. And so there is a definite roadblock which the LLMs have hit. Ditto for robotics. So Rodney's concern is that we may never reach what these guys are promising and it would be all forgotten in another 20 years and people will laugh that once upon a time we were actually thinking about humanoid robots. So Rodney's entire vision in five points can be summarized here. First of all, he is now a humanoid skeptic. He is not a robot skeptic. He is actually a robotics guy. But he says that this whole dream of a robot like a human, it is having, it, it has no future. And this is a dead dream. Most likely it will just be forgotten in another 10 to 15 years. So that's a very, very major development. The reason I started this playlist, Future of Humanity, AI and the Future of Humanity, is to dwell on such fundamental issues. I have made two other videos in this playlist before. I would recommend you watch the whole playlist. And while you're here, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel, Billion Hopes, and like and share the video. Do comment also. This helps me spread the message far and wide. Thank you so much for your support. So there is a skepticism. And he also says, this is the most dangerous part of it, that personally, Rodney says, I wouldn't be within I wouldn't be found within three feet of a humanoid robot. A robot five and a half feet tall, made up of all body metal, will be so heavy that if it loses balance and falls on a human, the human will be severely injured. So, the whole idea of a metallic humanoid robot is a non-starter. So, Rodney has been very upfront about it. And this has upset many people in the industry, like even those calls for hybrid LLMs have been upsetting so many people, including Elon Musk, who publicly mocked people who were suggesting that LLMs are definitely not the way to AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. So why are we humans fooled by this so-called humanoid revolution? Rodney makes a very nice point. It is anthropomorphism. Anything which resembles a human form or which seems to be human, like an LLM giving a human-like answer, we fall for it. We think, oh, this is human just because the shape is human. So the physical appearance trap. I hope you understand this very, very clear and simple point. Hype versus reality. So Rodney has sounded the alarm. We will be around to see in 2040 whether this was true or not. And Rodney says that over the next 15 years, billions of dollars will have simply vanished into this humanoid robot hole and nothing will come out of it. And people will then laugh when they look uh, actually back and see what they were trying to do. The dexterity problem. Now, humans are so dexterous, ambidexterous in fact, but we have no way to communicate this dexterity and the touch dexterity to robots. There is no way, there is no science that does that. And that is a fundamental biological limitation. Biology has endowed us with this skill and we just cannot endow our robots with that. So the future vision is, Robots on wheels will be a reality, but do not expect humanoid robots to actually be doing the honors anytime soon. So, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll be around to see what really happens. But given Rodney's reputation, I don't think he can be taken lightly by anyone. Did you enjoy this? Please do subscribe to my channel. Wonderful AI courses are available for beginners, non-tech professionals and strategists on my academy. Check it out. I have given the links below. And do check this current affairs site every day, insights.billionhopes.ai, full of hundreds of posts on AI.
So with that, I conclude. We'll be back next week again. Future of Humanity and AI. This is Mentor Sandy bringing you AI for real impact. Thank you so much.